up the weekend forecast, a lot of people have those trunk or trees yeah. or they're getting ready for some parties tonight and hoping that. Yeah, and I know there some was fun. some of that that was supposed to go on yesterday evening yeah. that got rescheduled, even some football games getting rescheduled mm -hmm. as well. So today's not a repeat of yesterday. Okay. It's uh, maybe a little drizzle, light showers this morning, but nothing heavy. And most of those will be coming to a close here as we head through the remainder of the morning. But it was nice to see the rain recently uh, and, and actually some good news as far as the lake levels are concerned. Some of them actually did come up with the recent rain that we had not only this past Monday, but the round that we also had uh, yesterday and into last night. However, almost every single lake still low, but at least we headed in the right direction here with the recent rounds of rain. Louisville still five feet low, but grapevine now back to normal. Levon six feet low. Ray Hubbard is two and a half feet low. Ray Roberts is two and a half feet low. Arlington came up as well, uh, three feet low at the moment. Tawakin is four feet low. Texoma is two and a half feet low. Cypress Springs is two and a half feet low. To the uh, southeast, Cedar Creek is five and a half feet low. Athens came up just a little bit, down to uh, a foot and a half low now. Granbury is two and a half feet low. Whitney continues to be quite low at eight, but of course Whitney can fluctuate quite a bit, so that's not as bad as it's ever been. Been, but it continues to be quite low at eight feet low and then Possum Kingdom is a uh, five and a half feet low there across western North Texas. So we need multiple events like we've had over the last couple of weeks to fill up those local lakes or we just get, you know, widespread flooding across the area, which we don't want that. Obviously, I would rather just continue to have these rain events in the forecast. I do have another chance for showers and storms down the road. We'll talk more about that when I have that 10 day forecast coming up here in a little bit. The rain today very light. It's a passing shower. It's a little drizzle out there this morning as the slow pressure system continues to move slowly off to the east. So a little spotty rain possible this morning, but it's not going to amount enough to really cause any problems or I mean, it would be an inconvenience, but it's not like uh, it's going to be heavy like we saw last night or anything like that. It's just a little spotty rain and uh, some shower activity, maybe a little drizzle. So 10 o'clock this morning, a little spotty rain continues as this low pressure system moves off to the east. It will take the majority of the rain along with it. So by noon, most of you are dry. So it's a little more likely for DFW to the southeast to, to the north to see a stray shower the remainder of the morning, which is only another couple hours here, much more likely across our northeastern areas. And then as we head through the afternoon, there goes that low pressure system. You can still see, though, it's not impossible to see a passing shower, but most places will be dry. Maybe some peaks of sunshine as we head through the afternoon and then into the evening hours. Of course, sunset continues to be uh, earlier and earlier here as we head through fall. So it's less likely, but not impossible that DFW sees a stray shower the afternoon into the evening hours, maybe a little more likely across our eastern and northeastern areas later on on today. Most of you will get stuck in the clouds today and that'll help hold down that temperature with highs only in the low 60s to maybe mid 60s if you see some more breaks in the clouds, but most of you are probably in the low 60s. And there could be some places that don't even make it to 60 degrees later on today. Tomorrow morning, starting off well, partly to mostly cloudy and then the clouds, they may try and break up a little bit more tomorrow. We'll call it partly cloudy throughout the day tomorrow and with a little more sunshine, a little warmer temperatures. We hit about 70 tomorrow afternoon. No rain out of those clouds tomorrow. Here's what happens as we head into next week, though. This is the low pressure system brought us the recent rain. That one moves off to the east. We're watching this next one that right now is kind of between the North Pacific Northwest and Alaska. So the timing, the coverage, the rain totals, the severe weather threat with that next storm system a little up in the air at this point. Does look like rain will return to the area. Right now I have a 30% coverage for Friday and Saturday of next week, but the timing details and all that we'll find tune as we get closer. I'm hoping that we can up those coverages and we get another round of widespread soaking rain across the area to really help us out. Halloween festivities totally fine and trick or treaters will be totally fine as well. 72 the high, but by the time those kiddos are heading out the door, it'll be in the mid to upper 60s. All right.